All right, so welcome back everybody to the Erica Time Show. Today we got a little bit different one. We got a smaller little project here. Uh, let me get you kind of tuned in to what we're doing. What's going on is the outlet plug for the power down here was ran originally down to this box. Okay, it jumps out and it actually feeds a plug over here on the far side. So the ethernet and the cable that you can see right here, that was originally coming down to this box. They wanted all this moved up and over here, kind of center. We got one box. We've already moved the ethernet and the cable here to the center. So the reason we had to trench this out to begin with is because of these massive staples right here, which is 110% correct. We didn't think we were gonna get that lucky, you know, uh, more times than not, you won't. But our initial deal here is we took these plates off. We didn't even cut this. I measured over from the corner of the wall for these two for right up here. That's where I knew to cut. So we opened it right up. We seen these and we seen our wire. We knew we were in line. The problem was with them being stapled going down the stud, that's what made us have to cut this out so that we could get these backed out and actually get slack on all these wires and pull them up and feed them to where we're wanting to go with the new spot. So since then, we've already put a new box in here. We've already ran the ethernet and the cable back over here. This is just sitting here. It's already hooked up, ready to be screwed in on the finish and so I can get here with the mud work. To keep this outlet over here in play, the initial wire coming over is going to go over here to a brand new box. We're going to place it right here. Then we are going to do the same jump they did. We're going to jump back down here, and this is going to become our new junction box. So we just wanted to give you the front view. Uh, moving wires is no big deal. Um, they just wanted the convenience of a new TV going up here with a TV mount over this. And they didn't want to see all these wires coming down over the pretty top here and just kind of dangling here, you know. So uh, this gave us an opportunity to do a little bit easier project today. So we were we were glad of that. Uh, but we're going to get all this going here and fine tuned, and we'll show you along the way uh, getting all this finished out where we're at. So also, let me point out. Um, our center stud here that was coming out, we just went back in with blocking just to support this drywall back. It's all super strong now. It's screwed into this joist and screwed in right here to the wall. So that's just going to stabilize that piece of drywall that we're going to put back here and, and finish this right out. So a lot of times if you can, you know, the blocks were put into place. This is the original cutout so we didn't have to cut another piece. So Tom had put in all the blocks there and he marked the blocks where they're at once we put that piece in so we can see exactly where to screw that. So that's going to fit back just like a champ, just like original. All right, so we've got everything back. Here's our two new boxes. Okay, here's our, here's our main feed. There's the jump. And the jump's going right back down here to tie to that guy over to here. Right, that guy. So we're going to get the TV mounted up here. We already know where the studs are for that and this new bracket. These are going to hide right behind. We've got the Ethernet and the cable sitting right here ready to go. So two screws for our blocking two screws down for our blocking just to hold that stud in and then two right there in the drywall. So you're going to have a bunch of these just trying to repair this back. But we were able to use the drywall that we had already cut out. Just makes it a tight fit going back. Now we're going to get a coat of mud on here, some mesh tape, and we're going to get this finished out and go on with the TV part. All right, so we got a, went ahead and got our bracket up here. Everything is dead center. Perfect level. And we made sure we don't like the anchors that came with that. We made sure we hit studs, 
You got very little room. Matter of fact, we actually had this setting perfectly. That plug was sticking right over here that we had. We had to move it. So thank goodness we checked all that before we tape and put the first coat on and all that stuff. But the slit was not long enough. Uh, we would have actually missed our stud, been into the plug just a little bit. We knew it was going to be close. So we went ahead and had to move that plug over. Um, but everything is up, running. It's all level like it's supposed to be. So now we're just waiting on our skim coat here to dry. We got a blower here sitting on it. Again, 20-minute mud makes life a lot easier. This will be dry in no time. And we're going to apply the final coat on here and get all this buffed out and then paint this and that TV will slide right here in this little circle. So there it is. That's our final coat. Took three to hide all that. Final coat in play. We're going to let this dry, buff all this out. And then we're going to, we're going to two coat these walls just to get the new mud, the old paint, just to get everything to jive. We don't want to see any flashing when we look down the wall this way. So we're going to two coat this, make it all back like it never happened, and then they'll be in great shape. All right, that's it. It's up. We got it. Look, all the kiddos are happy. Look at that. Look how happy they are. Yeah, that's right. So we got it up. Plugs are tucked right behind there, looking sharp. Got everything finished back out. Appreciate everybody for tuning in. As always, we'll see y'all back real soon on the next one. Look, there's Tristan. Ha <laughs> <laughs>